The biggest tikkiyah that is being used in America by Muslims and leftists. And if you want to take notes, please do and quote me on this wherever you want to post it. I'll back it up. You can even get a screenshot on Quran.com. But in Quran, Allah himself said, and we have given you Muhammad, the prophet, and the perfect book, the Quran, with verses clear in the meaning and some not so clear in meanings for you to translate or to use under circumstances. And Allah is the only knowing of the true meaning. The perfect example. You have heard it everywhere. You've heard of the stars using it on night of Oscar, all the way to Muslims using it on debates, including in the Sarsar. That in Islam, in Quran, it says if you kill a man, it's like you killed all men. And if you save a man, it's like you saved all men. Here's the thing. I will give you the full verse. They normally say in that verse, it says you kill a man, it's like you killed all men. And you save a man, it's like you saved all men. Let me give you the full verse, just in case if you don't know. Ready? We ordered upon the children of Israel that whoever kills a soul, unless for a soul or for corruption, in the land, it is as if he has slain mankind entirely. And whoever saves one, it is as if he had saved mankind entirely. And our messengers had certainly come to them with clear proofs that indeed many of them, even after that, throughout the land, were bad doers. Are we clear thus far? First of all, this verse was upon children of Israel. Who are them? In Arabic verse, it says, O Bani Israel, O sons of Israel, O Jews, this was not sent to Muslims. Secondly, there's an exception. If you're killing someone because they killed someone, or if you're killing someone because they created corruption. Now in Quran, many verses says, those who try to uh, reform Islam are corruptors. They're spreading corruption. Those who change the words of Muhammad are spreading corruption. So all of those are good to be killed. Now let's take a step further, shall we? Let's go to the next verse. Indeed, the penalty for those who wage war against Allah and his messenger being Muhammad and strive upon earth to cause corruption is none but that they be killed or crucified. That is... The perfect example of tikiya used in America today by Muslims, moderate Muslim, leftists in Hollywood stores. Bam, right there. 